What is up guys, Rick Hackis here and we are opening 230 crypto keys worth of supply drops. Now, the reason I'm doing this live cam and kind of just doing this live is just because it makes it a lot easier on me. Beforehand, I was, you know, recording these uh, separately and then I had to go and find all the recordings. So this is just a lot easier on me. I'll try not to be like the typical COD YouTubers that just overreact and everything. And, whoa, whoa, an epic! How is this for a thumbnail? <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail of the video for sure. In any event, we're doing this for science. We're not just doing this for shits because I'm going to, after the video, I'm going to calculate the actual numbers of the stuff I got. So we're going to try to determine the actual drop rates of the rares and legendaries and epics within the game. I've actually already done this once uh, and I'll link that video in the description below and there'll maybe be an annotation as well. And so we're going to combine these results with those past results too, in order to kind of, again, try to figure out those actual drop rates. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the first common supply drop. And I expect nothing but commons because I am extremely unlucky. I was cut in, as you can see, I was kind of hoping, I was kind of worried. I was like, I'm, if I say I'm extremely unlucky and then I get like three legendaries, that's going to completely prove me wrong. So I will mention as well that if I am lucky enough to actually get, hopefully actually get anything, you know, a rare calling card, no, but this, oh my goodness, XR2 stock variant, um, for the rare and legendary, um, for the rare and legendary camos is what I'm trying to say, I will... Uh, edit this video in a way that I'm gonna go into the private match. I'll actually show you guys what I get I'm not just gonna get it and then show you. Okay, so Roar for the Outrider. Let's actually go and so stop right here and check that out. Oh I've seen this so many times. Oh my goodness. That's a pretty good one. That is a pretty good one for uh, when you stomp stomp some scrubs. I like that gesture. I Again, I've seen it. I didn't know what it was called. So Roar is that all right let's go back to opening these packs let's see what we get here and common 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 pretty much expected that pretty much exactly expected that i was pretty upset to realize that you could get uh, duplicates of this so you can get for example the rk5 verde or whatever it's called more than once which i think uh it's a little douchey i this is a perfect example i have already gotten spark for the man of war that is my second time of getting that same rare which is a little disappointing because again there's a lot of rares i don't have all right let's check this out salute for the nomad i know what salute looks like but i'll just show you guys right now i've gotten good game and we're going to change it to salute preview that gesture yep just classic the classic military salute I'm not sure when exactly you'd use this. My favorite is the wep weapon, wiping the sweat from the brow. I don't know why I'm saying weapon. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, let's get back to unlocking these packages. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. All right, all commons, expected as much. So we've opened, God knows how many, almost 10 now. This will be nine or 10 right here. And uh, night, I should probably check that out. Night for the profit. Oh yeah, profit, black market, night. Eh, that's pretty lame. That's that doesn't really look that amazing. All right, let's go back to opening up shit. Stealth camo. Oh, finally, light camo for the PO6. Excited about that. Recently did the PO6 gold. Uh, definitely gonna have a gold guide for you guys. Uh, pretty good weapon, actually. I will say. Now let's uh, let's check out this PO6, and let's check out this new camo, light camo. So this is what it looks like in the uh, in the menu, and uh, looks not bad. Kind of pretty similar to the other black mark camo, field and light. This like looks pretty much the it is the exact same. <gasps> you can see the pixels. Pay attention, and you can see that they're the exact same, just colored differently. That's kind of lame. But we'll check out light in game here. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty noticeable. Like, I mean, if you got a kill cam with this, you would definitely be able to see the light camo. I'm gonna do a quick reload here. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks not bad. I mean, it's not the most amazing thing, but I'll take it. We've got 12 more. One legendary camo that is half decent. Zero epic camos. That's a little disappointing. 
but let's see if we can pull one off before uh, this runs out. I'm not entirely confident. I'm pretty sure I I got this earlier in this same video. Collector set one of six. Thanks for giving me one of six twice. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but that looks extremely familiar. More calling cards. Violet for the HVK. Um, I already know that looks for for the rares. I'll just show you guys really quickly here what what that looks like for Violet. It looks like that purple. Uh, it's all right. It's pretty noticeable, which is always nice. Anyways, let's get back to cracking packs. This is going to be uh, well, obviously not this one. Oh, 48 Dredge and Sunshine. That was a pretty good pack. For the rare camos, I'll just show you guys again in the actual classes. Now let's check out this Sunshine camo. Oh. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Wow, that's actually really gold. That's surprisingly gold, considering there's also gold camo. I mean, that might even be cooler than gold, <laughs> to be quite honest. So, that's pretty neat. This is it. It's going to be epic, epic, epic. Triple epic. First time in the world. Oh! Actually did get an epic. I mean, the triple epic didn't exactly pan out. But one epic, I mean, considering my luck, that's good enough. Let's check this thing out. Oh yeah, look at that, the moving camo. That's awesome. Now let's check it out in game. All right, now let's check it out. And I do have the sunshine camo on as well. I just wanna take a look at that. That's actually a really sweet camo. This sunshine camo is pretty damn sweet for just being a rare. Now let's switch to the knife here. Uh, oh yeah, you can see this. I mean, it's pretty sweet. Doesn't really show off that well. I mean, in a kill cam, that'd be pretty awesome. I'm looking at the blade. The blade doesn't really... This might be less cool than I thought it was. If I kind of, like, stand up... Oh, man. I mean, you can notice it. I think in a kill cam, you'll definitely see it move. Yeah, I can see it move definitely near the blade. And then that'll be an awesome kill cam. But for right now... Eh. I mean, it's cool, but it's, like, not as uh, flamboyant. Not as noticeable as I kind of would have wanted. But still... Uh, epic camo that's awesome and for the knife too i mean that's gonna be pretty sweet when i eventually have to get this thing gold all right let's get right back to cracking packs here another common how many do we have seven left one epic so far one legendary camo so far actually a couple of legendaries overall two in a row that is so awesome oh my goodness another epic for the black cell ice for the black cell let's take a look Right now, I've been using the black cell actually. To sh I've been that asshole to shooting down all the kill streaks. I I apologize beforehand. And let's check out the uh, the vest. I think that was the vesper as well. Got a camo for that. So new camo for the vesper. That was uh, pixel. That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll check it out uh, in in game as well when cause, because we can do both at the same time. Launchers black cell. Personalized camo, black market, ice camo. Oh, it mo it does. It moves in the inside. That's sweet. Okay, let's check it out in the actual game. Let's see how noticeable it is in game. All right, guys. So we got in game here. This is the pixel camo, by the way. I just want to check it out. VMP is or the Vesper is terrible for showing off camos. But let's switch here to the ice camo. Oh shit! That is that is so noticeable. Holy shit. I mean, this is never going to be in a kill cam, but fuck. You can see this thing, like, that is completely changes how the gun looks. And doesn't move. It did in the thing. Oh, I think you need to, I'm going to get here to a little bit of shade. You can see it better in the shade. Yeah, in the shade, you can really see that uh, there's some movement going on under the ice. But in the sun, you can't really see as much. Still, though, that is a pretty awesome camo. That is extremely, extremely noticeable. I would love to get the ice on other guns. Like, that's crazy. That's so sweet. All right, let's get back to cracking packs. All right, let's get right back to it. Can we do three in a row? Three epic camos. I would be so happy if it was three epic camos from three things in a row. Yeah. I mean, the luck had to end sometime. I'm happy with two. I can't, I can't start complaining now. I mean, these are all commons. Sunshine on the Vesper. We've already seen Sunshine. That's a pretty sweet camo. Let's keep going. How many more do we have? Four more do we have? Four more. That's not very much. <laughs> I've been saving these up for so long and it's been absolutely killing me. It's been absolutely killing me. I'd love to get an epic camo on a primary that I actually can use instead of a black cell. Sunshine. We're just getting these sunshine. Sunshine's for the KRM. It is a sweet camo though, so I'm glad I got it. 
All right, how many more do we have? Two more. Let's make a count. <laughs> okay, Gravedigger. We'll check that out after for the Reaper. Finally, I have I've used this guy so much and I've had no taunts. So I'm so glad I finally got one. And this is it. Love this one. Dig in the grave. Dig in the grave. Putting the body in the grave and and stomping it out. Man, they really went overboard with this one. I'm so glad they did though. It's such a sweet threaten. All right, now let's get back. This is the last one. Obviously hoping for an epic, but right now I'll settle with just not three commons. Let's let's have a, a something to go out on to end this with the very last supply drop. We're not starting well. Okay, Violet I can live with. Yes, what a way to end it. I mean, it's not an epic, but a legendary camo for the Kuda. I will definitely check that out. And Violet, another Violet. You already guys already saw that for the ICR one. That's pretty sweet. So let's check out Gem for the Kuda. Gem. Oh, that moves too. That moves. Legendaries. I mean, legendaries can actually move too, which is really awesome. That looks. That kind of looks like dark matter. Like not exactly, obviously, but. Dang, son. Damn, son. Let's try let's check that out in game for sure. I'm excited about that. All right here, we have the gem camo. That is pretty sweet. That is extremely noticeable. It's very easy to see it move. This is cooler than the storm camo for the knife, honestly in my opinion. That is just a really awesome camo. What a way to end it. I'm so glad we could get Oh, when you reload. I'm glad I could get an actual, like, pretty sweet camo. Very, like, last item, last supply drop, we get this sweet legendary camo. So, with the opening done, now we're going to switch into uh, the actual science portion of this video. Alright guys, now thanks for watching the first half of the video, but now it's time to crunch some numbers. So, out of 23 total supply drops opened, that equates to 69 total items received. Now, no, I did not plan that beforehand, I just happened to be 69, I swear. In any event, we're going to now calculate the percent chances per each item to get each rarity. Remember, each supply drop comes with 3 items. So, for rares, 13 total rare items were opened in this video which equates to 18.8% .8 chance to get a rare item. Now for legendaries, 4 legendaries are opened which equates to 5.8% chance to get a legendary item and 2 epics were opened which equates to 2.9% chance to get an epic item. Now the last time we did a supply drop opening for science, there was 45 total items opened, 4 rares, 1 legendary, and 1 epic, and the percentages were 8.9% chance to get a rare, so a lot higher this time, the rares were flowing this time compared to last time, 2.2% uh, chance to get both a legendary and epic, remember there was only one of each. So when we combine the numbers out of all of the supply drops I've opened so far, so this time and the last time, we come with the the total percentages of four rare items, it's 14.9% chance to get a rare item, it's 4.4% chance to get a legendary, and 2.6% chance to get an epic, and that's out of 114 total items opened. So every time in the future I make another one of these videos, the numbers are going to get more and more accurate as the sample size increases. So I hope you keep tuning in for these supply drop openings for science. Now that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please remember to rate and share these videos. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more Black Ops 3 content, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter. That's linked in the video description, as is my Twitch channel, which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.